Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Fell Custom. So today we're going to do a quick video on swapping out this clear flame piece onto this Sideshow Captain Marvel premium format head. Now the person who has this, he uh, said to me, I guess a group of people got together or made a custom head for this premium format statue and they put this clear uh, fire resin on the head. So he actually got the head, but he didn't like the head itself. He actually likes this head better, but he wants this clear piece onto this statue, which is kind of cool. So it's almost in scale, but it's going to require a little bit of tweaking. So the idea what I'm going to do is it's fairly simple. It's just a matter of chopping up this fin as best as I can without ruining any of the red and sort of kind of lining this up. So we don't know if we're going to have the hair sort of flowing forward or if we're going to see if the hair flows backwards. Uh, it's a matter of once I get this chopped up and I sort of fit this on the head and then uh, we'll, we'll see what the client wants to do for the statue because I guess you can go either way. But the only thing is is you got to kind of like seal this on with some clear. You can't really use like magic sculpt or Aves. Uh, it's probably better to kind of do as much clear as possible. So this is a two part epoxy uh, from BSI and uh, it's really great stuff for this so I can actually mix in a little bit of color too if I needed to like a yellow or orange and get a semi clear piece so the idea is what I'll do is once we're ready and we get this sort of fixed I'm gonna put like some of this uh, you know epoxy into here and then I'm gonna put the head in there but the only thing I'm thinking is whichever way I do it there's gonna be a little pieces that are kinda like not completely flush and this isn't soft or I'd be able to warp it so what I might have to do is once we kind of start setting it is I might have to do some sand work or what I'll have to do is sort of get this on the head, let it cure and then mix up another batch and kind of like fill in some areas and play with it, let that cure it and fill in some areas and play with it and keep going until like this clear stuff almost bonds to that because there's no other way of doing this. I mean clear resin and uh, the epoxy stuff is the only thing I've ever come up with on how to fix clear so that's kind of where we're at. So basically what I'm going to do is Go into the garage, I'm going to chop this up, and then uh, hopefully when I come back, we'll see how this fits onto the head. And then uh, after that, we'll have to do some uh, tweaking. So, yeah, I might have to do a little extra tweaking around here too, but I don't know. We'll see. It sounds simple, but then again, sometimes the simple stuff are more complex than you think the complex stuff. So, we'll see how this works out. Okay, I went in the garage, and I pretty much just chopped this up real quick. I just used my Dremel tool and just went zapped it right around it, and I just made sure I didn't hit any of the other parts. Now... At this point, I have to see what the client wants. You know, does he want it to go this way on the head? Or does he want it to have it come up forward like it's really high up on the head like that? The only problem is, depending on which way he chooses, I have to do some tweaking. Because I can't tweak it for this way, and then he says, okay, I want it this way. And I can't tweak it this way, and then he says, no, you know what, let's do it this way. So it's a matter of me trying to uh, get it to point like this way almost sort of fits. Not completely, but that kind of fits pretty well. But if we go this way, it doesn't really fit as well as a huge gap up there. So that means it's a little bit more of, I might have to kind of chisel some stuff out in here and kind of play with it. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get some uh, pictures together for him and see what he wants. And then uh, by then, uh, hopefully I'll know which way he wants to go with it. So, I mean, the idea is she's kind of running forward. So it almost thinks like, okay, maybe the hair should be coming behind her. But this is kind of really cool and dynamic with it's coming up forward like that. So it's kind of like really a cool mohawk. So like I said, I, I have to see what they want and go from there. So I'm going to get some pictures, send it to them, and hopefully they come back. We'll have a good decision, and then I'll be able to chop this up, and then we can start pretty much attaching it. Okay, so we pretty much got the plan on how this is going to work. Uh, what he told me is that this head actually went like this. So it actually the hair went backwards. So it kind of went like that on the original custom head. And after we kind of went over it and everything, and even he said it, he kind of likes the hair going forward like this, only because it's like more upwards. And this statue, he, she looks like she's flying forward, but it also looks like she's sort of hovering. And, you know, Captain Marvel's known to kind of just like hover, you know, like that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go this look for it. I think that'll kind of look a lot better. So I have to do some tweaking. If I pull it backwards, it sort of fits it, but it, it doesn't come too forward forward. If I go forward where I want it to be, like there... It hits the back of the head, so I think I'm gonna have to kind of drummel out this back part a little bit and sort of kind of go in a garage to keep like working it till this piece goes on. And then from there, what I'll do is I'll probably, uh, you know, put some notches, some drill bits in here, and then I'll probably clean out this paint that's in here and do some drills in there. So this way, when I put the epoxy on and it goes, it'll bond together where we want it to. So I don't even think I might have to even hit this paint. I think letting this white resin sit there. 
like if you'd let it sit, it almost helps it glow a little bit better and a little bit lighter in there. So that might help. Or what I might do is maybe just hit some like pearlized paint in there or some like uh, metallic. And this way maybe it'll make it pop just a little bit more. So we'll see. But for right now, I'm going to have to go in the garage and get this set up and uh, get that working. All right. So I jumbled off the piece and I put some notches on there and I just sprayed some chrome silver paint up there just to get rid of the white. I took out a lot of this back in here only because it wasn't going to fit the head. It was pushing up. So now we got it at a good position. So this is the tricky part. Uh, first, I'm going to take some of this epoxy, mix it up. I'm going to wait, I don't know, a few minutes because uh, it cures in like five minutes. So once I start mixing it up and I start feeling it getting really hot, I got to kind of pour it on here. And then when it starts to get just a little bit tacky, and but it's still kind of soft, then I'm going to have to push it onto the head like so. I'll have to have a little bit up here and a majority of the back here and then let it sit and then let that cure up. And then afterwards, what I'll have to do is I'll have to mix up some more and drip some in into the areas and sort of build up a little bit. That's the only way this is going to work. And then afterwards, what I could do is I maybe can hit it with some of this like orangey yellow uh, paint and sort of touch up the epoxy. But that's where I'm at with this. I uh, just got to go in here and hit it with a airbrush just to get a little bit of the dust out first there too. But that's the only way this is going to get on and blending because there's no other material out there that's going to fix clear resin or match clear resin unless you re-sculpt it, remold it, and make a casting of it. So this is kind of like my only option right now to do this. So once I get my initial piece on and it's cured, then I can, like I said, I could go in and I can mix up a little bit, a tiny bit dripping in there, let it sit, drip in some more, let it sit and build it up slowly. But I just have to make sure because there is a little bit of a gap going through this top area that I don't accidentally like work on it this way. And then when I turn it over, I didn't realize it dripped all the way down the head. That's just one of those things. So for right now, let's try to get this onto the head and then we can worry about filling it in later. So it's been about 10 minutes and this piece is pretty much uh, cured on pretty well. So looking at this, there is a little bit of a gap here. So if I sit here and I try to fill this in with some colored uh, epoxy and sort of play with it, what's going to happen is it's definitely going to just seep through and uh, cause issues over here. I know it will. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my uh, BSI gel glue. I'm going to gel in the center a little bit and fill in that area as much as I can. This stuff is really great because it doesn't bleed. And then what I'll do is I'll hit it with my InstaSet and InstaSet it up. And I'm just going to let it sit and dry, give it about an hour or so, and then come back with it maybe later tonight uh, and sort of fill in some areas here with some more gel uh, epoxy. Uh, then I'll have to do a little bit more epoxy over there. And then I'll just keep doing going around the areas and fill in the best I can. There's only so much you'll be able to do with this process because it's like not sculpted for it. So this epoxy is kind of like... You got to mix up a little bit, drip it on and sort of play with it. And as it starts to harden, you kind of pull it and you could sort of create some waves. But once it starts getting really, uh, you know, cured up, you're not going to do anything and you might get like your tools stuck onto it. So it's just one of those things you got to play with. So I'm just going to go in there and get this filled in. And then later tonight we can come back and we can keep filling in this in. So this might be like an item where, you know, maybe in the morning I wake up, I do a couple pieces, I go work on other stuff, maybe around lunchtime, do a couple more, and just keep building it up with this epoxy till I get it to where I want it.
Okay, so uh, I think this worked out pretty well. Uh, we're pretty lucky on this one because uh, mixing this uh, two-part epoxy together and then uh, putting a very drop of a uh, very tiny drop of uh, transparent bright yellow from Garage Kits, it gives it like a uh, clear yellow. Because the head is red and this is kind of an orangey yellow, it actually helps out where the you know the reflection of the clear going through to the red helmet helps make it look a little orangey there, so you can kind of get away with it. But I mean, if you hit it in different lighting, it actually almost blends into it pretty well when you put it up against the light. Um, I mean, yes, you can sort of see like a difference between this sculpt and that uh, epoxy that we put there, but there's no other way of doing this. You know, I mean, uh, you can use regular glue, but you know, you get the cloudiness there and it doesn't really work out that well. And this isn't actually specifically made for the head where it kind of like goes in and you can put a couple drops of glue and it's like a, a piece. This is something you got to epoxy on. But I think it works pretty good. I mean, it blends pretty well. I mean, I'm seeing, I'm not really seeing too much of anything like an issue wise. Uh, so I'm gonna let this cure up for the day, and then uh, tomorrow I'll come back and look at it. And hopefully, after it's fully cured, we'll see if maybe I need to get in there and do some kind of like coloring with some paints, or if I have to hit it with some clear coat. But as of right now, it looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, I kind of like the way it blended up pretty well. So I think this is gonna turn out really cool when it's on the statue. Alright, so I had a little bit of a chance this morning to work on this a little bit more and uh, what happened is last night when I did the epoxy and I put that drop of yellow in there, it was beautiful looking but what happens is this epoxy gets very very hot and it starts to bake the item around it almost. You got to be very careful because if you get it on your hands it will like burn your hand almost. So uh, what happened is it sort of kind of pulled or might have had a reaction between the paint here and the clear resin here and it turned very orangey in there. So what I'm trying to do is take that out now. So I just have some interference red. I pretty much put in my airbrush cup and I put a couple drops of water. So I just kind of been doing very lightly just hitting it with this interference red. And what it does is it's creating like this like a, uh, you know, glow almost in it. Hopefully you guys can see it in the camera. And uh, it's just taking away that big glob, glob of orange and it feels more of like a cosmic hair that's kind of like glowing out of our helmet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a couple areas over here with the interference red, uh, just a little bit more, let it cure up, and then I'm going to gloss coat it. And I think that's it. I think that's all I really need to do with this. I just think uh, adding this little bit of interference red, uh, we still keep the transparency, but what it does is it adds a little bit more uh, pop to it, and it helps blend everything a little bit better because, like I said, you know, clear resin, it's got to be made for the item. You can't just, like, take clear resin and just attach it to anything and not have it blend out correctly unless you can sort of use Aves or some other kind of chemical. There's no sculpting with clear anything yet. It's never been invented and if it was I'd be doing that stuff non-stop with statues sculpting and clear but there's nothing out there. So I think we're in a good position. I'm going to let this uh, cure up a little bit and then I'll just gloss coat it and then we'll come back with the final part of the video because I think we are pretty much done with it. Okay, so here is the finished Captain Marvel head with the clear flame. It worked out pretty well. Bear with me on holding it like this. I was trying to set up a little display, but it really wasn't working, so I figured I'd just kind of hold it. But really great idea from the client to take that custom uh, flame head and add it to this, uh, you know, sideshow head. And, you know, almost like wish sideshow would have done this in the beginning. It would have really made this statue pop even more. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like the idea of adding this on there? Just a nice one of a kind. Would you have liked to see, you know, Sideshow put clear resin on their uh, Captain Marvel head for everybody out there? Because this would have been a really great exclusive. Not only would it be a different head, but, you know, a clear flame coming up from the top. But thanks for watching, and we'll be back with some more videos.